I have been uh, anxiously awaiting this guy. I haven't heard these tapes. I heard they're pretty good. This is the guy who's been calling our office all last week and pranking Gary, making scam calls on him. Very good. He's been very good at it. Yeah, it's funny, huh? I actually was amused by him. And here he is. Here's the guy. Hey, hey, hey dude. How you doing? Take a seat. So do you. This is the guy. Yeah. Give him the microphone, guys. You look like a stockbroker, huh? Yeah. You're a stockbroker? Yeah. And what happened? You just like sitting around the office, had some free time on your hand, and you. Well, every day when we have our breakfast, we're really supposed to be on the phones, but I listened to you. <laughs> right. And uh, I said, let me call a power to use an alias to get on the show. Right. So one day, I'm personal friends with the Beastie Boys, and I have I know everyone oh. on the Beastie Boys. That's how it all started. So right. I, I said I was MCA, and then Gary kept screaming me and calling me a jerk and an a-hole. And you you were Beastie Boys groupie? Yeah, Beastie <laughs> Boys groupie. I guess you could say that. I, so I, how I, old are you? You seem like I'm a young guy. 26. 26? Yeah. And, and what is it? You have like a fa fa fooey fascination? Well, look at him, of course. Look at yeah. you. Wow, look at those horse teeth look, in person. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Buddy, but Listen, let, me let, me take, take, let me tell you two things. With a mustache, you're me, and your teeth are pretty stained as well. Well, You don't have a mustache. Gary. No, but I mean, but, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but mine. <laughs> when, 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 What's the matter with your teeth? When mine grew in, when mine grew in, I kept them. But wait, look at his teeth. <laughs> Listen. What's wrong uh, with them? They, they're stained, I, I, like mine used to be. Yeah, but stained. he's got nice teeth. No, you're right. Yeah, they're his stained. Mouth. Let me, his eye, his at least they're in his mouth and they're not outside his mouth. Uh, does he have wooden eyeballs too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me see his teeth. Go like this. Huh. His teeth aren't bad. Oh, Come, on. Come on. Come on. Maybe a little bit on the pumpkin side, but they're all right. Those uh, are the nicest teeth I ever came across. At least, at least you can't play hide and seek in my mouth. Right. <laughs> what? You're saying that his teeth are as bad as yours? Yeah. No way. His are inside Gary, his mouth. You have a strange oh. view of your Gary. teeth. Gary. Yeah. More color wise. Gary, color-wise. you should be looking at him from where I'm looking at him. There's no way that your teeth and his teeth can, look similar. I could put, yes. put an African tribe under those teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what happened? You started making some phony phone calls and you taped so them. So what happened was this? Gary Burmey was like, listen, I don't think I want the Beastie Boys on the Howard Stern show. I'm like, what? Because I'm a big no, Beastie no. I said, boy. To, I said to the guy, listen, even if you were the guy from the Beastie Boys, which I'm sitting here arguing with this guy for ten minutes. Yeah, right. I'm saying even if you Falling were the Beastie Boys, yeah. who knows if we'd even want you on? Because you know it's. One of the guys, right? Yeah, one of the guy. Number no, one. No, it's al- one of the so guys from the Beastie Boys. So I say to Gary, they have the number one album out. Have you heard? And Gary's like, Oh, uh, uh, yeah, really? What? And I'm like, ill communication. I go, you have your head shoved so far up your butt, you don't even know if you're coming or going. That's when he hung up on me. <laughs> right. You know what's so funny? I all did. I just did it to get through to you, of course. You know, right. any way to get through to you. I said, let me use the Beastie Boys because, and Gary says to me, you know what? That was pretty smart because you used a low-key guy. Some, all right, some, let me hear your work, okay? So this okay, is you calling. It. So what's is, the first one? What's, what's So this is me getting back to Gary. I'm like, you know what? Now I'm going to set him up and I'm going to just burn him. Okay. Who, who are you being on this call? This phone call, I am a fake name named Steve Ryan from the New York Post. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Here is our man. This is Sal. Governor Alley. Hey, Sal. Uh, Gary, please. Who's calling? Jim Stevens. What's this a reference to, Jim? Um, from the New York Post. Hey. Hi, Gary. How you doing? Good. What can I do for you? I just wanted a quick quote from you. Um, what would you consider the three essential characteristics that make up good radio? Yeah, you know what? I, I can't really get into this right now because we're on the air. Try calling okay. back after the show. Okay. Uh, who should I ask for? Ask for Gary. You know what? Let me give you my extension here. Okay. Just when you ask for me, yeah. uh, just tell the secretary that you're a horse-toothed jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Oh, ah. man. <laughs> now, what's your second call? My second call, I was a juror on the O.J. Simpson trial. Oh, good. Okay. Here we go. Gary, Here's... And by the way, I may add that this was back-to-back with the Steve Ryan phone call. Excellent. This is on the same day right after. Right after. This is Sal, king of all Gary pranks. <laughs> That's right. You'll see me in the next... Hello? Yeah, what can I do for you? Uh, my name's Frank Delgado. I was on the O.J. Simpson trial. I was a juror, and I was uh, removed from the jury. When were you removed? I was remo- I was actually the second individual removed because I was accused of calling O.J. Simpson a horse-toothed jackass. <laughs> <laughs> that was right back-to-back. Back. Yep, it was. All right, now what's, what's your next call? My next call, the umpire died from the Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> okay. So I called up and said, let me be Ron Gant, so they'll just pass it to Gary. Ron Gant is a player for the, I think, for the, for the Reds. Cincinnati Reds. Okay. I don't even know who Ron Gant is. I couldn't give a crap. But anyway, I say Ron Gant, and I set him up. And <laughs> this is great. Why is this so funny, Robin? It Can is, you explain I don't know. It's just like, I can't believe that now the audience is goofing on Gant. <laughs> yeah, it's just so funny that everyone's into it. All right, here we go. Here's Sal, king of all Gary yeah. pranks. Yeah, is Gary in? This is a reference to. Uh, this is Ron Gant. Is it a reference to? I'm with the Reds. What about it? The Cincinnati Reds? I'm with the Reds? Uh-huh. And who's the manager of the Reds? 
HTJ. Who's that? Horse tooth jackass. Go <laughs> <laughs> right into HTJ. <laughs> That's who. We're going to make up shirts HTJ on them. And Sal, what's the last one you got here for us? Last one, I am um, Cliff. Well, this is what happened. I tried to go, you know, try to get Gary. This was it. Everybody knew who I was. And uh, a friend of mine, Jeff, who I work with, Jeff Lombardi, says, say you're Cliff Bernstein from Q Prime Management. Gary knows him personally, I'm right, sure. Right. So I made like I was booking Metallica on Letterman. Ah. And I figured I'd get him in on the morning for the show. Great. And Gary, as usual, fell right into it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> No, he's on the phone. May I take a message? Tell him it's Cliff Bernstein on the phone from Q Prime Management. Yeah, I know who Cliff is. Cliff's a heavy hitter. All right. Cliff's on the phone. I want to know what's going on. All right. Well, let's hear what happens. Hey, Metallica. Yeah. April 15th. They're in town? Yeah. What are they doing? Letterman. No kidding. Yep. And they want to come on? Yep. Well, that's great. I mean, what, what can, can we do it or what? Yeah, absolutely. April 15th? Yep. But listen. Wait a second. What's your partner's name? It's called Horse Tooth Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sal, listen to me. Now, Come. can he still crank Gary, or is he yeah, busted? Of course he's going to. No, oh, yeah, famous. now he's completely encouraged. <laughs> he's this now. is going to be a way of life for Sal. I'll get some new clients now at the firm. Okay. All right, great. Okay, that's Sal, everyone. King of all Gary goofs, or whatever you want to call him. Horse Get him. Tooth, jackass you.